Jack the Boxer at the FA Trophy. Fair to say, that was an embarrassing performance. Thought the first half was. Um, it was a poor display, especially coming on the back, because I haven't been in with them this week. Um, that's no, I'm not trying to make any excuses because the reports were that we trained ever so well. So I was ever so disappointed in our first half display. Um, thought we started okay, but um, um, our defending was like a sieve. And um, but once again, uh, if you look at the two goals and you film back, we were in good areas attacking. Players make poor decisions. We lose it, and in football, you're always at your weakest when you lose the ball unexpectedly. And for the first goal, there's no way Mason should have lost the ball. He's attractive three players to him. He's got three simple passes on. He looks to make it difficult, loses it. And then the next thing that happens then is that they've got the ball. There's no pressure on the man on the ball. And as a defender, the first thing you do in that situation is you drop, in encouraging the player on the ball to play into feet and not in behind you. So, but unfortunately, Chad had his feet anchored, played the ball in, and you're one nil down. And goals change games, change attitudes, give people a lift and deflate. And up to them scoring the first goal, I didn't see them as too much of a threat. Uh, but once they scored the first goal, I thought we did well to get in it into the end of the game, only um, one, two nil down. Because I thought the last 20 minutes we were a shambles. And I mean a shambles, defensively and every way. But goals change games. Come out second half, we said that obviously the next goal would be very important. And um, uh, I thought for 20 minutes in the second half, we played some really good stuff. Got in good areas, but I felt the cross that um, whizzed in from the left and Jimmy Wilde and Calvin, I think, were all in there and that didn't go in. And then Mason got down the right, pulled a goal back and Jimmy Mewitt put it over the top from six yards. I think if either one of them go in, we might be having a different conversation. But um, uh, after what I've witnessed the last month, I'm not expecting easy chances to go in. And um, it was a very, very, I'm embarrassed to be honest. And um, as we've said in there, the only way we can address it is by getting players in. But we know that's much harder. But sometimes you have to change personnel, even if it makes you weaker. Because I can't let them keep performing like that. And because it's not every week that you can um, um, bring back and score late goals and get out of jail. We're going behind to teams that are not better. It's, there's no, I've got no problem when the 11 players in the opponent's dressing room are technically better and fitter and more skillful players than you. But on what I've witnessed over the last few games, which have been disappointment, we are fitter than the opposition. We are technically more gifted. And we um, uh, we do OK. And when they beat you, you realise that there's something wrong with the, the makeup and the balance of the team and whatever else it is. And um, we have suffered with the number of players that are out injured and they're quality players that are hard to replace. But that's my job. But I'll be on the phone Monday. But it's not easy. But we won't win anything this year with the players that took the part and started as the 11 today. That's a dead sir. Are we possibly looking at players leaving the club or is that not going to happen? Oh, I think so, yeah. yeah. You're saying that players are going to be leaving the club? Well, and, well, I don't say they will be leaving the club. What I'm saying is, normally when people don't play, they ask to go somewhere else to play. OK, Jack, thank you very much as always. OK, Cheers. no problem. Thank Thanks you. very much. Well, with Blake now joins me, Robbie, I've just said to Jack that was embarrassing. Any other words that you can sum up the Rock's performance today? Unacceptable. Um, said in probably a long, long time, that's the most I've been embarrassed at half-time. Um, let them know. Let them know my feelings. And, again, when a team wants it more than you, you're in trouble because you can have all the ability in the world if someone wants to run that extra yard quicker than you or 
I wanted more from you from within. If you're in your trouble, then you're in trouble. So um, it's another harsh lesson for us, but um, yeah, it's just just not good enough, not acceptable. And um, you know, I apologise certainly on my behalf anyway um, for the performance. Need to ask you about players collectively. There seem to be a few players out there that weren't putting in the effort. Well, I'm glad you've seen it as well. So that's um, that's pleasing to know. But yeah. Not acceptable, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult interview, Lee, because um, that's sort of a slant on me and Jack when your players are not working. And I've just told them that in there. Um, that, um, what is it? What, what's the problem? Because they get everything, more or less everything, given to them, um, certainly for what we do at this level. And, um, you know, that's, you know, it's not good enough as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, for you to spot it as well, that means to say that. I'm not being biased, it just wasn't acceptable and there was a few players out there who, in my opinion, didn't do enough. We've we've talked many, many times about the defensive collectiveness. It was pretty much numbers 1 to 11 and the only players in my eyes that have come out of any credit there, Mason Walsh and Dan Lincoln, are the only two really didn't make a mistake. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, give, you, I'll give you Dan Lincoln, definitely, but um, I don't think any, anyone else... Uh, has particularly come out with any credit for me personally, and I think it's a it's a collective thing. Um, but yeah, it's it's slightly worrying for me that we, again, have been beaten by a team who wants it more than us. And as I've just told them in there, in, in football, you can have anything you want, but when you're told by somebody that a, a person wants it more than you, then we've got problems and um, that's what me and Jack need to address and they will be addressed but that has to be changed on Tuesday we haven't got a big squad we have to have a reshuffle and, uh, and you know we've got to play, bring players in even if we don't bring anyone in there's a couple of people sat on the bench who you know will run around more than that and probably contribute more than that so um, yeah it's um, disappointing back to the drawing board for us and um, we, we've got to look at Tuesday now Obviously, I've interviewed you many, many times, and at the moment, I've, I've never seen you quite like this. You're really, really down. Why has it affected you so much today's performance, Robbie? <clears throat> well, because, like I said, you go back to it. When, when you, when your players don't want it as much as that, the other players, that's not a very good trait to have as an individual or as a collective group. Because if you've got that, you're not going to win a lot of games. And we need to get back to some basics of how we were in the first ten games when we were blowing teams away, and we looked really, really a strong unit and. Um, yeah, we've got injuries and we've got frailties at the minute, but it's not easy just to to sort them out, Lee. I wish you know it's not it's not easy. Trust me. And um, after this three quarters of this team was the team that was playing really well um, at the start of the season. So you've got to look at it and think we're not playing a different way. Yes, the personnel is a little bit different, but we're asking to do the same things. And you've seen in the second half, even when we we still. Still poor. We've still created a four or five clear cut opportunities now. Probably, would you say it was 25, 30 minutes before they actually got into our half lead in the second half? So, pretty much. Yeah, so it's it's just not acceptable. And I've, and I've told that, me and Jack, I've told the boys. And, um, but we go again, don't we? We have to go again. You kept the lads in for a long time. It's the longest that we've been waiting for an interview, which is fair enough. I knew it was going to be a long wait, but what did you actually say to the lads? Obviously, I know there probably would have been a bit of language in there, but what did you actually say to the lads? Just um, along the lines of what I've said to you, Lee, is like you, 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 the worst thing you can have as a footballer is someone telling you that they wanted it more than you. And the worst thing, even above all that, is you can actually look at yourself in the mirror and, and, and actually agree with me. You know what I mean? So um, no one can say that me and Jack have been unfair with them. Um, they wanted it more than us. Have they got better technical players than them? I don't think they have. I don't think they're not a bad team. I think they've got a few threats going forward and stuff like that. They're quite a decent team. But, no, nah, I think you could see, you know, if we just, if we just scored, listen, you look at it, Lee, and I've got to be open and honest, we didn't deserve anything out of the game. Purely on the first, on the first half's performance, it, it's not good enough. And, um, you know, what... From, from my point of view to tell the fans is that you know we will get it right and um, you know we will be back into a situation where we, we're back on the front foot again because that's what we've got to get to. Well we go again Tuesday against Corinthian Casuals the, the mm. cup run has ended now but we go again Tuesday quite simply what's your message to the fans for Tuesday night? Um, look where we are in the league um, obviously stay behind us um, we've lost only one game in the league um, 
we've got two one games coming, we win them two one games. I know that's judging on today's performance quite far away, but if we win them two games, we're right back in the mix of 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 trying to win the league, let alone you know being around the playoffs. So we've got to um, go again, and then you, you, you know at the end of the day, you see, you, you see what sort of character and what sort of ment mental players you've got, don't you? When the chips are down and things are not going very well, so we'll see. But um, yeah, very disappointing. Robbie, thank you for your honesty. Cheers. Cheers mate. Thank you.